I'm champion Alex Deringer, I uh, should say three-time NCAA champ now. Alex finishes his year 33-0 and, and with 82 consecutive victories over the past two and a half years. So, Alex, you might comment on briefly on your match and, and also about being a three-time champion, and then we'll open it for questions. You know, there's a lot of emotions there, you know. I kind of was a little conservative, but, you know, in the situation I was in, it was hard to get over aggressive, you know. But uh, and I was very pleased, you know. You know, I got 18 matches in a row with third national title in uh, the most historic arena in, in the world. So it's a pretty amazing feeling. Okay, questions up front. Alex Zeb Miller, Flow Wrestling with Ohio Cast. Uh, John Smith said uh, yesterday. I don't even think he realized he did it. He was calling you a three-time national champ. <laughs> in the press conference and then he said he's going to be one of our five greatest wrestlers of all time that's pretty high praise what's that mean to you you know I didn't hear that until about a week before nationals when I heard that I got got a really good feeling in my stomach you know I knew I had to win this title in order to be top five but you know I'm always pretty confident and I was real excited for the for the journey so yeah it's, it's a it's a pretty amazing feat I what I just did so you know I'm just gonna try to enjoy the moment Kyle Klingman? Yeah. Kyle Klingman, Win Magazine. I watched the Daniel Lewis match that uh, at Gallagher Ivor Arena where you won 4-3, to three, got ridden out two periods. Was there a sense of complacency at all this season that it's just going through the motions? Was there a hard time getting motivated at times? Um, I wouldn't say motivated. It was more just staying focused. You know, staying focused for a whole season is pretty hard. You know, obviously you're going to have, you're gonna have those kind of matches, you know. And, uh, you know, unfortunately I did. I kind of froze up in the second third period. You know, he had a good ride. But in the semis, I, you know, I was ready for it. I went back to the room I worked on. That's what champions do. They go, they go back and figure stuff out, and they get better at it. Gary? Yeah, Gary, I'm at USA Wrestling. Um, I'm assuming you're going to go to Iowa City, just in our conversations. Do you take a break, or are you going to start working on some of your... Uh, ankle laces and, and, and some of your freestyle techniques pretty quick. Uh, we're only a few weeks away. Yeah, I'll be taking two or three days, not much more than that. You know, I, 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 two weeks, you know, I'll still be in good shape. So two weeks to train freestyle, you know, that's my favorite style. It's my best style. You know, it's all on your feet pretty much, and that's what I'm good at. That's my, that's my best thing. So, you know, obviously you got to watch out for those rolls and stuff. But that's just keeping your hips in and don't get, don't get your head down and get your hips away. And so, and, you know, that's not too hard to figure out. So, you know, I'll have to over, over two weeks to figure everything out, you know, get ready for Burroughs and the rest of the guys in the field. Eddie? Eddie Golden, No Holds Part. congratulations. A lot of Oklahoma State wrestlers after their college career has been over, uh, either go into wrestling, continue with wrestling in one form or another, or going to other sports like MMA. Have you thought about that at this point beyond the Olympic draws? Yeah, um, I'll be a wrestler for life. You know, I'm gonna get back to the sport that gave me so much. So, you know, I'll be wrestling until, until I, my body can't take it anymore and I'm getting the coaching, you know, help the wrestlers out and help them reach their goals. Okay. You're from Wisconsin, you wrestled an opponent uh, that wrestled at the University of Wisconsin. Were you aware of Jim Jordan and the connection and him being a two-time NCAA champ from Wisconsin? Yeah, I was aware of it. You know, they have a really good, they have a really good wrestling family. You know, they're really, they're really well known. And uh, I was excited for the opportunity. You know, I almost went to Wisconsin, that was my second pick. And, uh, you know, I felt pretty good to beat him. Were you aware that he had, uh, that Jim Jordan had beaten John in the NCAA finals back in 85. Yeah, I am actually, yeah. I saw something on that, on, I read, read it online somewhere. And I've actually watched the match before, so I got to see it. And uh, yeah, I was aware of it, and you know, I was ex just excited for, for, for the match. One more question, Gary? Alex, in order to continue winning, how much better did you have to get from the first year to the second year, from the second year to the third year? I mean, some people, uh, you know, they, they know the target's on their back, and, and I, I thought you handled it very well. So how did you do that? I'm um, just handling that composure. You know, you gotta be, you got to be relaxed. If you, if you think about it too much, you know, and get to your head, you know, it's very, very hard sport, very mental, and if you let it, if you let it beat you, it will it'll beat you down. But, uh, yeah, I've always gotten progressively better, and that's a, that's a nice thing about my, I think I've really, really developed a lot of mental toughness over the years. You know, just being around Coach Smith, he's all about being tough, 
And uh, I think I got a lot of that from him. Okay, we'll wrap it up. Congratulations again to Alex Deringer, a three-time champion.